Welcome to Rwanda Medical Academy. Today's lesson is about the treatment of supraventricular tachycardia, SVT. And we will use the ABCDE mnemonic to help you remember. Supraventricular tachycardia, SVT, a rapid heart rate that originates above the ventricles of the heart. Although SVT can be frightening, it's generally treatable with good outcomes. One effective way of understanding and remembering the treatment options for SVT is through the ABCDE approach. Adenosine, beta blockers, calcium channel antagonists, digoxin, and excitation, vagal stimulation, and electrical cardioversion or synchronized cardioversion. This lesson will break down each component of the ABCDE approach, explaining how each treatment works and when it's used. A stands for adenosine. What is adenosine? Adenosine is a naturally occurring substance in our bodies that can slow down the conduction of electrical impulses through the heart's atrioventricular AV, node. This makes adenosine an effective first-line treatment for certain types of SVT. How adenosine is used in SVT? When a rapid heart rate is resistant to simple maneuvers, adenosine can be administered intravenously. Its action is quick and lasts only a few seconds, often leading to the termination of the SVT. Because of its short half-life, the side effects, though immediate, are typically transient. B stands for beta blockers. Understanding beta blockers. Beta blockers work by blocking the effects of the adrenaline hormone, thus reducing heart rate, blood pressure, and strain on the heart. This group includes medications such as propranolol, metoprolol, and atenolol. Use of beta blockers in SVT. In the context of SVT, beta blockers are commonly used to manage symptoms and prevent recurrence. They are particularly useful in patients with recurrent episodes of SVT who do not have asthma or other contraindications to beta blockers. C stands for calcium channel antagonists. The role of calcium channel antagonists. Calcium channel antagonists, or blockers, reduce the heart's calcium intake, which is crucial for muscle contraction. Verapamil and diltiazem are two examples of calcium channel blockers used in the treatment of SVT. Application in treating SVT. These medications slow down the heart rate by delaying the AV node's conduction. They are effective in controlling the heart rate during an SVT episode and can be used as a long-term treatment option. D stands for digoxin. Digoxin is derived from the digitalis plant and works by increasing the amount of calcium in the heart cells, leading to a stronger heart contraction and a slower heart rate. Digoxin also acts on the nervous system to reduce heart rate. Digoxin's use in SVT. Although not the first line treatment, digoxin can be useful in controlling SVT, especially in patients with heart failure. It is often considered when other medications are not effective or cannot be used. E stands for excitation, vagal stimulation and electricity, also called synchronized cardioversion. 1. Vagal stimulation. What is vagal stimulation? Vagal stimulation involves activating the vagus nerve, which can significantly slow down the heart rate. This can be achieved through certain maneuvers, such as the Valsalva maneuver, trying to exhale forcefully with the mouth and nose closed, carotid sinus massage, or immersing the face in cold water. Vagal stimulation in the context of SVT. These maneuvers can be attempted immediately and can be effective in terminating an SVT episode. However, they should be performed under medical supervision to avoid potential complications. 2. E. Electricity, synchronized cardioversion. Electrical cardioversion is a key treatment method for SVT, especially when the patient is hemodynamically unstable or when drug therapy is ineffective. This procedure involves delivering a controlled electric shock to the heart, aiming to reset the heart's rhythm back to normal. What is electrical cardioversion? Electrical cardioversion is a medical procedure that aims to restore a normal heart rhythm in patients experiencing certain types of abnormal heartbeats, like SVT. It is usually considered when other management strategies do not achieve the desired outcome. Preparing for cardioversion. Preparation for this procedure includes fasting, obtaining a detailed patient history to avoid complications, and performing necessary diagnostics like echocardiograms to check for any underlying heart conditions. The procedure. During cardioversion, the patient is sedated for comfort. Pads or paddles are placed on the chest, and possibly the back, and a specific amount of electricity is delivered to the heart. This shock momentarily stops the heart and gives it the chance to restart with a normal rhythm. Post-procedure care. After cardioversion, 
Patients are monitored closely to ensure the heart maintains a normal rhythm and to check for any potential complications. Follow-up includes medications, if needed, and lifestyle changes to reduce the risk of future SVT episodes. Conclusion Treating SVT involves a comprehensive understanding of the heart's structure and its electrical system. The ABCDE approach provides a structured way to recall the treatment options available for managing and resolving SVT episodes. By understanding each component of this approach, healthcare professionals can effectively treat SVT, ensuring better outcomes for their patients. Thank you for learning. Join and save a life with us at Rwanda Medical Academy.